Hello everyone, it's your boy Vixterity, and welcome to the fifth race of the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Sim Racing Series. We are at Kentucky for the um, Cartoon Network 400. Yeah, everyone knows Cartoon Network. Well, a lot of you do. And uh, last race, um, Kurt Busch dominated the race, mostly, and won. He will be joining Kevin Harvick, Ryan Ellis, Chris Buescher, and Kurt Busch. I mean, no. I mean, he's going to be joining these three in the chase. Believe it. Yep, believe it or not. That's the second time Ryan Ellis made it into the chase. And it was all because of a last lap pass on Cole Witt. And I bet he's getting sick and tired of finishing second. Okay, anyway... This race is going to be 35 laps, and um, we're going to be pitting at laps, um, hmm, 16 through 17, and 28 through 29, which is a very unusual pattern. Actually, um, I think we did it once, but uh, I think st strategy will play into this race, all right? Let's get this show on the road. Well, those two didn't get a good start. Chase Elliott and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. They did not get a good start. They just chose the wrong lane and just pow. All right. Landon Castle. Whoa, here's DJ Kenning to the, to the inside. We are, we are already seeing some passing action on the first lap. Like it's a it's the first lap, guys. Settle down. DJ Kennington leads the first uh, leads laps two and three. Here's Jeffrey Earnhardt to his inside. If you're right behind someone, here is a perfect chance to make a move. Yeah, which could lead to a photo finish or something like that. Ryan Blaney takes the lead. Over DJ Kennington. And David Reagan goes to the inside. Passing DJ Kennington. And DJ Kennington went from holding the lead to uh, not making any, any moves at all. Need I say more? Uh, Reagan almost pulls it off. But it just wasn't enough. Tim Hill to the inside. And he at least looks like he's crawling his way to the front. Oh, look at Derek Cope. He's all the way to the front now. Let's see how long he can stay there. Whoa, Jimmy Johnson all the way to the inside. Landon Castle, the 34. Looking to regain the lead. Lap 9. Derek Cope still has the lead. Landon Castle. He takes the lead now. Landon Castle takes the lead now. We're coming on to lap number 10. Whoa, Timmy Hill all the way to the inside. Whoa, here's McMurray to the inside. And he's side by side with Timmy Hill for the lead. This is intense, and it's... Not even halfway of the race. Now we got Jimmy Johnson and Jimmy McMurray and Timmy Hill battling for the lead here. Yeah, this track is great for passing activity. Timmy Hill to the inside. He's in the lead again. It's lap 13. All right, let's see what happens now. Timmy Hill is still leading. Oh, he's putting up the blocks just like Reed Sorensen's doing. Except Reed Sorensen is... Oh, there's Reed Sorensen. Oh. 
Oh, Derek Colt misses the run, and that's going to cost him some time, while Elliot Sadler jumps into fourth. Good job by him. Lap 16. Okay, we're going to open up pit road now. All right. They're coming in. Okay, here we are. We just came out of pit road, and uh, let's see how things stack up. Whoa, everyone's getting all squirrely coming out of pit road. Landon Castle is in the lead. And we got Greg Golding in second. How unusual is this? And where is Timmy Hill? Oh, I can't believe he lost so many spots. That was a bonehead move. I mean, move. That move might have cost Timmy Hill the victory. I mean, it wasn't his fault. But it's just pit road while getting out of the lane. You gotta get out of the right lane. Whoa, Landon Castle is still leading the race. He had the lead two races ago, but then he lost it to uh, Chris Buescher and Paul Menard, who were battling for the win. We still got Greg Golding and Elliot Sadler behind in second. Whoa, Elliot Sadler to the inside. Now he's in second. Oh, something amiss on Elliot Sadler. Landon Castle continues to lead the way. Greg Golding to the inside, and he takes the lead. Greg Golding's in the lead, looking to lead his first lap. Can he do it? Yes. Greg Golding is in the lead. Oh, but it easily fails. Here comes DJ Kennington fighting back into the top 10. But will he have enough time? Will he be too late? Lap 25. Whoa, DJ Kennington inside again. Inside again. Cinders and ashes. How, look at how much time DJ Kennington made up. And he's going to take the lead. I cannot believe it. DJ Kennington went all the way from the middle of the pack to the front. And he's steaming away from Landon Castle. That could be the race right there for DJ Kennington. For Gaunt Brothers Racing. That could be the move. That could be the move that decides the win for him. He's still pulling away. That was awesome. I have never seen someone make up so much ground in like half a lap. Never. But now I've seen DJ Kennington do it today. DJ Kennington. Oops. Whoa. We got pit roads open. Lap 28 to 29. Can DJ Kennington hold off? and get his first career sim racing victory. Whoa, here comes Greg Golden to the, to the inside. Jimmy Johnson and Casey Kane are plowing through the field. They gained up spots on DJ Kennington from Pitt Road. Now Greg Golding has the lead. What are they going to do to him? What are they going to do about him being in the lead? Will they pull off another last lap pass? Can we see our first photo finish in history of the channel? Landon Castle. Up to third. Can DJ Kennington do the same thing that he did a couple laps ago? Wow, Greg Golding's putting up the blocks on this one. Lap 34. Nothing has changed so much. Greg Golding, he's the youngest competitor in the series. Can he get the win? White flag, last lap. Casey Kane to the inside. 
Here comes Casey Kane, the number five car. Can he do it? He passes Greg Golding. Casey Kane wins at Kentucky. What a last lap pass. He did it. He pulled it off on Greg Golding. Casey Kane wins and will be in the chase. Unbelievable finish. That's the third time this year that we had a last lap pass. I can't believe it. Greg Golding second. I think Jimmy Johnson was third. Landon Kessel fourth. DJ Kennington had a good run, but kind of slipped it off on pit road. But anyway, um, I mean, no, he did not lose it on pit road. Um, it's because Jimmy Johnson was and Casey Kane were plowing through the field. <laughs> I made that up. Casey Kane will be the fifth contender of the chase. Wow. I didn't think Casey Kane was going to do it. But then he pulled up right beside him and say, Goodbye, you not getting your ticket to the chase, bro. And then he, and then he pulled away and scored the victory. I'd just like to give some credit to some drivers who finished in the top five, like DJ Kennington led a few laps today. Almost had the win, but I mean, uh, if he, yeah, I mean, uh, w what he did back there was impressive. I want to, I want to see that replay again. Well, we'll see you in the next race. Okay, goodbye.